Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to retrieve lost Windows passwords. Now it's happened to you, you're sitting at your desktop, you're trying to log into your computer, and you just can't remember your password to get in. So I'm going to show you how to get in, and we're actually going to change the password to something you can remember. Let's go to our computer. So here I am at the logon screen for Windows XP. If I try to click on my user, it's going to ask me for a password. And of course, I don't have a clue what it was. So, at the logon screen, what we're going to do is we're going to press the Control alt delete button twice. If I press it once, press it again, I actually get a logon screen here that looks a whole lot different than the Windows uh, logon screen or the welcome screen that we're used to seeing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my username. And most computers, when they ship uh, from the manufacturer, come with a user on there called administrator and whose password is normally blank. So I'm going to type administrator and leave the password blank. I'm going to click OK. So now as you can see, it's logging me into the computer as an administrator. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my user's password by going to Start. I'm going to go to Control Panel. I'm going to find User Accounts. I'm going to find my user, Dave, just click on his name, and I'm going to change the password to one that I can remember. You have to type it twice to confirm it. Make sure to write down your password or make it something that you can easily recall uh, for future logins. My name is Dave Andrews, and I've just showed you how to retrieve a lost Windows password. 